I'm Katie Fix and welcome to my kitchen. We moved in at the end of last year, but it is well and truly feeling like home, especially the kitchen, my natural habitat. I'm the daughter of two chefs, so food is well and truly in my blood and I'm one of those very lucky people who lives to eat. I just get so excited for dinner time. In fact, when I was little, the only thing that would keep me quiet was like handing me a drumstick or like a carrot and I'd just be in heaven. But in amongst the home renovations, I haven't had all the time in the world to cook, but I still want to eat delicious food. So I've got a fantastic little cheat of a tray bake, which is Mediterranean chicken. That's not only delicious, it's full of good things, and it takes so little time and effort to do. We simply start with 500 grams of new potatoes that I'm gonna chuck into a roasting tin with two tablespoons of oil. Give them a jiggle. Then we're gonna take a little bit of salt, a little bit of pepper, and then we're going to pop them in the oven at 200 for 20 minutes. Whilst that's in the oven, we're going to prep our ingredients. I'm going to start with one white onion. For the full recipe, make sure you check the link in the description. What's great about this dish is loads of stuff suits it. So if there are bits in your fridge of vegetables that need using up, or you've got perhaps different meats, or perhaps you're not even a meat eater, then you can mix it up and do it however you wish. I'm definitely going to start crying. Okay, let's go got one bulb of fennel that I'm just going to cut into half centimetre slices. Do you know all the nicest things to do with fennel? Really thinly sliced with apple in a salad and a bit of stilton. Mm. Heaven. This is such a versatile vegetable. You can chuck it in your stews and it'll keep its form. You can chuck it in your salad and eat it raw. It is absolutely so as you can see, really simple rough chopping prep. Nothing fancy in this, just good ingredients cooked beautifully. We're gonna also add garlic and I'm just gonna finely slice these. Garlic is naturally quite sweet and it's those sugars in garlic that can catch quite quickly when you fry it. When you roast garlic and let it take its time, that's when it becomes umptuously beautiful. So I can't actually take full credit for this recipe because this is a family recipe of Simon's, my fiance's, <laughs> so grown up, <laughs> who is Sardinian and it's sharing food. Imagine laying out that tin onto the table, everyone just dives in. That is the Italian way to eat. Okay, so that's all prepped and our potatoes are ready. <gasps> As you can see, they're starting to go really nice and crisp and golden. That's what we want to start seeing. So into this, we're going to add all our veggies. So just chuck them in. And we're going to add in some extra flavours. So I've gone in first with some chilli flakes. And one of my favourite ingredients, fennel seeds. Now we've got the fresh fennel in there. That's going to add a beautiful bit of like freshness. And then more fennel flavour. I'm team fennel. This is just going to help to really bring out those beautiful aniseedy notes. Give this a really nice stir just to coat our veggies in some of that oil that's in the pan as well from the potatoes. And get those chili flakes and fennel seeds dancing around with the rest of them. We're then gonna grab our chicken thighs from the fridge. I've got one kilogram of chicken thighs here with the skin on. I love the skin because it's gonna release extra fats and oils and flavor, more importantly, into this dish as well. On you go. Do you know what's great about this dish as well? It's minimal washing up, which when you're feeding a family, it's one of the best things ever. We're gonna finish off our chicken by seasoning it. A little bit more salt, just a smidge, and a little bit more pepper. This is then gonna go back into our oven at 200 degrees still for another 20 minutes or until the skin of the chicken starts to go lovely and golden. What's fab with this recipe is that, say you're not a family of four, should not stop you doing this fantastic tray bake because not only have you got leftovers for the next day that are gonna reheat beautifully, it also freezes fantastically. Plus, if you wanna be really, really ahead of the game, prep everything, whack it in the fridge, and you'll be ready to cook dinner in no time. Lovely, okay. Now, the skin is gonna to start to crisp and to keep that crispiness, we're actually gonna decant the chicken just for a second whilst we add in our other ingredients. So just pop that into a clean bowl. What you can see is your fennel and your onions have started to go gorgeously translucent. They're softening, they're releasing all of their flavors. We've still got that crispiness on the potatoes as well from where we did the first roast. Now let's go with some more flavor. Okay, first up, we're gonna go in with a tin of plum tomatoes. Go for plum rather than chopped because they just tend to have a bit more flavor. And not to waste any of this, we're gonna fill up with half a tin of water as well. Don't waste any of that goodness. 
We're also gonna go in with a teaspoon of capers. There's lots of richness in here and this will just cut through and add some acidity. And when we're going Mediterranean, how can you not have olives in there? But I've gone for a mix of olives, about two handfuls, just generously toss them through all your veggies. Give your tomatoes a good chop up and mix everything through. You wanna make sure all of your ingredients are nicely combined and spread out. And again, once this goes back in and starts to roast, you're still gonna keep the soft and ooziness of it all because those juices are gonna continue to release from the chicken. Your veggies are gonna continue to steam in that lovely sauce, but we'll also have a gorgeous crispy skin. Back in with the chicken. Now we're gonna drop our oven down to 180 and then this is gonna go back in for a final 20 minutes. Last year was obviously a strange year, but I think actually being more in my home area on the outsides of London I've suddenly appreciated home and I've appreciated what's around me it's really taught me to love where I live oh, the smell they're absolutely incredible look at that that is a feast for the eyes and when you dive in your taste buds are going to be very very happy indeed I'm going to finish it off with just some fresh basil just tear it up getting that color in as well and there it is, a beautifully simple family feast. Or just knock it up for yourself and enjoy it for a couple of days. It is perfect, easy, happy food. And I hope you give it a go. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you very soon. I eat it now. <laughs>